So, dimensional revolution, the new revolution that has come up in the 21st century, making our life easier, holistic, and sustainable. What is it all about? What is dimensional revolution? Imagine you want a new car, and if I say, you can print your new car at your home with a click of a button. Does that fascinate you? It fascinates me a lot. That's all about 3D printing. The 3D printing is an additive manufacturing process using computer-created designs layer by layer. It's pretty easy, quick, with close to zero wastage. And you know, the first 3D printer came into existence in 1987. But why we are not aware of it? Because it was patented, pretty expensive. It became affordable by the year 2009 when the patent got expired. So what are the processes of 3D printing? There are tons, it's very easy. It's layer by layer by layer. A computer design is created, a three-dimensional design that can create any object you imagine, bringing your imagination to the forefront. That's pretty easy. And it's called three-dimensional printing. That is how we have progressed from 1D, one-dimensional, 2D, two-dimensional, to 3D today. It's a paradigm shift that we're going through. That you imagine, you click a button, it's printed for you. Had we ever imagined this maybe 20 years ago or 30 years ago? Today it's possible. And the way things are changing, the way the technology is becoming affordable, everyone feels that 3D printer is soon going to become a household item. Even the manufacturers, they are taking use of this technology in each and every sphere of their manufacturing processes as it can create complex parts all together pretty easily with by layer, and, uh, layer by layer rapid prototyping technology. Urvi was the first car that was made and designed through 3D printers. And the beauty about that is that car is maneuverable. People are using it, cost effective. And imagine if you run out of spares, you don't have to go to the service center. You can again reprint the parts at home. See how easy is that? And that is happening in now aerospace printing. Aircrafts, yes, they are using 3D printed parts. Why? Because when with the traditional printing, they used to make those parts, they are very complex, cumbersome, time consuming. They need the lead time. They're heavy. With the 3D printing, it has become so easier that they can make the entire component in one go. Like the blisks. I don't know how many of you know the blisks. They are those rotor disks with the blades. They can entirely, in one single component, they can be made through the 3D printers, cost effective and lightweight. The best part about being lightweight is it is helping the aircraft to consume less of the fuel, environment friendly. That is why I said that technology is sustainable. I am really believe big time into sustainable living. And now the biggest breakthrough in the technology has come through human body organs. When we talk about human body organs, had we ever imagined that human body organs can be reprinted through 3D printers? In year 2000, the very first kidney was reprinted. 2009, first prosthetic limb was reprinted through the 3D printers, and that was the when technology went uh, viral. The, every year, more and more and more patients and people, they need organs. By 2013, the number of people who require organs went double. The moment, as of now, when I'm speaking, the number has tripled the people who require organs, but the donors, the number of donors is the same. So where these organs are gonna come from? The leap from the technology, so easy. The 3D printers, they can print the organs. Now, when, when, when I'm saying the organs, you might be thinking whether they're gonna be made of plastic or metal, they are gonna be made of your own tissue. The technology has taken such a leap that your own body, human body tissue can be taken and it can be regenerated, regrown, printed outside the human body and it can be transplanted into the human body. That is 3D printers. They are doing the magic. And same, if we take it a step ahead, medical implants, dental implants that we require. And imagine 3D printer equipped with a digital scanner, taking scan of the patient's jawline or anything, and accordingly giving them the custom fit. How easy is it? How wonderful it is that rather than going to a dentist and getting their, their one size fits all the implant, then you, you can have a custom implant that you want, that is what you're looking for, that is what is desirable, des desirable for your body. And we all wish for a home. We all want a home at a certain stage. With, with the younger lot, they want home quicker. 
right? And the home of dreams. And we already have someone who make homes. So imagine your own home, you are designing, you're getting it printed with a click of a button again in front of you. In Moscow, a 400 square feet size of home has been printed in less than a day. Natural calamities, floods, we need emergency shelters. How is it is? Just keep clicking, homes are being printed over there. Live homes, real homes, you can live in them. And how about food? We all are feeling hungry, right? We're soon gonna have a lunch break. But imagine, again, you are feeling hungry, you want chocolates or pizzas, click from the printer your desirable pizza, whatever toppings you require, coming out. Food is getting printed through the 3D printers, whatever you wish for. That is where the technology is taking you forward in life. We go to doctor, fall sick, they write the medicines. We look for the chemist, that where the, we're gonna get those medicines from. Again, you can print the medicines as well. Now you might be thinking, this guy's crazy, he's printing everything on the earth. <laughs> that is what I, I can make possible, right? In Sweden, a whole lot of live concert has been done where all the musical instruments, banjo, keyboard, violin, guitar, everything 3D printed, and that live concert was the biggest success ever. So this proves that anything you desire, anything you imagine, anything you think of can be printed through the 3D printers. Audiology might be a new term for you. But think of the people who need hearing aids. What about them? What happens now? They go to the market, one side fits all, go in, goes in the air. Every individual is different. Every individual is unique. Every ear is different. So a digital scan goes into the 3D printer, customized hearing aid coming out, perfectly fitting into the ear. How's that? That is what is needed. That is what is required. And same way, if today you imagine your mobile phones, whatever kind of technologies you wish for, Print it rather than going and buying them. And that is what is going for ceramic. You want to prepare any kind of ceramic shields, ceramic potteries, or your dinner sets. You want to you know, impress your guests, and you don't want to use that old utensils in your kitchen. Print the new ones, the fresh ones. Have your own designs. Have your own pictures, rather. Impress them. They are eating in the plates with your pictures on the dining plates. And railways are using these technologies big time in manufacturing railway components, as well as to, you know, Repair the rail, uh, rail tracks. Imagine they need to repair the rail tracks. Within a few minutes, they can even print the entire rail tracks itself. Robotics. Whenever we talk about robotics, what happens? We just imagine a life size a like us. Yes, you can print it. Whosoever is finding a trouble finding domestic help, if you're not able to find, why don't you print a cleaning robot at home? Again, design your robot, print it, they're gonna do the cleaning. Same way, they can, there are robots that can even make food for you. Whatever you wish for, it, co it could be a genie in a bottle for you. And this technology is now big time coming in art restorations and museums, whereby it is providing a big time power to the builders, whereby they can use existing buildings, existing physical objects, convert them into three-dimensional graphics, and they can restore them, rebuild them, or recreate them altogether. Now comes the most interesting part. 3D printers, printing 3D printers. We all saw in the movies, you know, robots replicating. This is what machines are replicating themselves. The machines creating machines. So smart machines creating smarter machines. 3D printers are making 3D printers itself. Imagine, you have a 3D printer at home, print another one. Your friend wants one, hey, why don't you go to, why do you, do you need to go to the market? I print one for you, right? So gift them. So this is how the machines are able to create themselves and they're learning from themselves. Have you ever faced this challenge that when we are working, we feel, why don't we, why do we just have two hands? Why don't we have four hands, six hands or eight hands? We, can, we should be able to do multiple things. So how about if I say, we create your identical clone? One, two, three, five of you sitting here. One of you sitting here, second one may be watching the movie, third one relaxing at the home, fourth one might be, you know, taking the classes. So, you, so your identical clones can be created through the 3D printers, your lookalikes, they're called humanoids. The day is not far away when we won't be able to make a difference between a human or a robot. Humanoids. So what do you think? Are you ready to write the future? Are you? 
If you think so, you are ready to write the future. Create your own projects. Make it possible. Imagine, work on it, learn. It's pretty easy. And the future is this, when you, each one of you gonna have a 3D printer at home and you gonna just working on it with the press of a button, you can make anything possible and it's gonna be reprinting the entire your imagination in front of you. Thank you so much.